Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Blackwood chapter. Back with my stamina Dragonite, but this time with a ulti region build. This set here, Drake's Rush, is perfect for ulti region build. It gives major heroism for 12 seconds and the only condition, you have to bash an enemy. And it gives also up to 3 group members the ulti region, so the major heroism, and it only has 6 seconds cooldown. Pretty damn strong. It's monster set, of course, Bloodspawn for another 13 ultimate points. And on the jewelry, one Malakat for extra damage, one trainee, and potentates three times on the back bar with a necklace, sword, and board to reduce our ultimate costs by 15%. And on the front bar, the Asylum Mall for another extra ulti region. If the enemy is below 50% and if you use Reverse Slice or Executioner. Traits, one Sturdy on the body, one Sturdy on the shield, one, two, three, four, five Impen, one well fitted. Then full prismatic would be best in slot. I only got it on the big pieces. Full infused weapon damage on the jewelry. Nunhound Maul with the Berserker Glyph on the front bar. Powered Sword, Sturdy Shield, like I said, and Stamina Drain Poisons on the back bar. Quick look on the skills, Executioner or Twitch Execute, Venomous Claw, a powerful dot, Dizzy Swing, a spammable, Fossilize, a undodgeable and unblockable stun, and it gives minor brutality, so extra 10% weapon damage. Rally, our Burst Heal, Take Flight as ultimate, on the back bar, Ransack for Major Breach, another 6k penetration and minor protection, 5% damage reduction. You could also slot Heroic Slash for minor maim and minor heroism, more ulti region points, but then we will lose 6k penetration. Race Against Time, our Snare removable, Vigor, our Hot, Hardened Armor, our Resistance buff, Cauterize as extra heal, and Corrosive Armor as Defensive Ultimate or also Offensive Ultimate, depends. <laughs> uh, Spellwell is alternative also nice. Race, I'm not for extra resistance and even more ulti regen thanks to Stealth Ward. When you take damage you gain 5 ultimate points and it has 10 seconds cooldown. Pretty nice. Imperial is fine too by the way. Esmundo Stone, the Lover for extra penetration. For non CP, I recommend the Serpent Mundus. Arteo Take with both, Esper Food, 35 points in health, 29 points in stamina, and potions most of the time the physical resistance potion for more tankiness. Sometimes the tricep potions too, since we have a lot of magical abilities and we need the extra magical region. CPs, blue ones are Deadly Aim, Mastered Arms, Duelist Rebuff, and Resilience. Red ones, Rejuvenation, Dragonaut, Slippery, and Ironclad. That's it for the build. I will upload some gameplay footage soon. By the way, I will probably play New World in the next days. Don't know if I should begin in the beta, but I will definitely play it on release day. So stay tuned for new world PvP and PvE content. I hope you will enjoy it and I wish you all a wonderful day and I see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!